Hello everyone, welcome back to Public Connect. In today's video, we will learn how to add failed Instamojo payment details in Google Sheets. So now suppose that you are using Instamojo to collect payments online from your customers. And now you want whenever a customer is trying to make a payment, but that particular transaction fails due to any reason or any technical reason, then you want to add those details in your Google Sheet. So how we will be doing this? For that, we will be using Pabli Connect, where a trigger application will be Instamojo and our action application will be Google Sheets. So to learn how we set up this integration, follow me through the screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to add failed Instamojo payment details in Google Sheets. So here you are using Instamojo to collect payment from your customers. Now you want whenever a customer is trying to make a payment and that particular payment gets failed for any kind of technical reason or any other reason, then you want to add the details of that very same customer in your Google Sheet. So to set up this integration between these applications, we need to sign into our Pabli Connect account. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and at the time of account creation, you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I will click on sign in. And now we have arrived on the all applications page over here. We will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach our dashboard. So we have arrived on our dashboard and this is how it looks like. These are some existing workflows that were created before. But to create a new workflow on our right hand side, you need to click on this create workflow button. And in this dialog box, you need to give a name to your workflow. I have named it as add failed Instamojo payment details in Google Sheets. And now I will click on create. So as I did that, now we have reached on a very important window that consists of trigger and action. So now trigger and action are the two most important principles of Pabli Connect to perform any automation and integration. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. That means we need to select a trigger application and an action application to make this workflow run. So moving to the trigger window, as a title suggests, that is to add failed Instamojo payment details in Google Sheets. So over here in my trigger application, I will be using Instamojo as a trigger application and here it is. So now after selecting my trigger application, now I need to select a trigger event that will be new sale. So it says triggers when a new sale or successful payment or new dropped off payment is done. That means in both the cases, when a payment is done or when a payment is failed, the same trigger event will work. Now moving to the webhook URL part, read the instructions given below carefully. Now using this webhook URL, we will connect the payment page or payment link on our Instamojo account with Pabli Connect. Then every time whenever a new payment will be received in the payment page, either it is a successful transaction or a failed transaction, we will receive the details for both the transactions in Pabli Connect. So now to set up a connection between Instamojo and Pabli Connect, we will be taking the help of this webhook URL. So let me take you to my Instamojo account. So now over here, if you want to go with the existing payment page or payment link, you can go with that. But if you want to create a new payment page or link, so you can click on this create new button and then you will go to payment link and click on create link. So moving to smart link and now over here it is asking for the purpose of payment. So let me give a dummy purpose that will be public course. So now I need to select the pricing. So going to flat pricing over here, the pricing will be 899 rupees. And now we will click on next. After doing this under the update payment link options, we will go to smart actions and we will then click on add webhook. So now over here, you can see it is asking for the webhook URL. So we will get the webhook URL from Pabli Connect. Moving to Pabli Connect, here is the webhook URL. We will copy it and then we will be pasting it over here. And now I will click on done. So you can see the payment link is ready. So I will click on this preview link. So now in this payment page, we need to fill in the details and we need to make a payment. But as a title suggests that we need to add failed Instamojo payment details in Google Sheets. So over here, we will be making a failed transaction. So let me fill in these details. So now over here, you can see I have filled in the dummy details. The name goes as demo user, email goes as demo at the redpublicutes.com along with the phone number. Now I need to pay 899, but as this will be a failed transaction, so I've already emptied my UPI account. So when I will click on next, when I will try to make a payment, the payment will get failed because of insufficient funds. 
So now what I will do is I will click on next. So now you can see over here the payment is failed. That means this is a failed transaction. So now what we will do is we will go back to Pabli Connect and see the captured response. So moving to Pabli Connect. So now moving back to Pabli Connect. Over here you can see in the response that we have received. You can see the status is failed and over here we have received a payment ID. You can see the currency that is INR and along with the amount that was 899 rupees. So over here as this was a failed transaction but there might be cases where the transaction will be successful. So now what I will do is I will go to the action step. So now over here I will be using filter by Pabli. Filter by Pabli will help me to put a condition that only when the failed payments are made then only this workflow should run. So over here in the select label part I will be selecting the state us as failed after doing that i want the filter type to be equal to and now i need to put the value that will be failed so i will be copying it from the response that i've received and now i've pasted it over here so that means whenever there will be a failed transaction then only this workflow will run ahead so now I will click on save and send test request to check the response. So here you can see the status is success and the messages condition is true. So now we have set up this filter after doing this. So over here in the response, if you would have noticed, we have not received the customer details, but we have received the transaction details. Read this note carefully, which will help you to understand that if you want to get the full details corresponding to any transaction ID, then you need to use the Instamojo get payment details event in the next action step. That means to get the full details, I need to use Instamojo again where the action event will be as to get payment details. So over here in my action application, I will be searching for Instamojo again. Here it is. And now I need to select the action event that is to get payment details. So now I will click on connect. So if you have an existing connection, you can go with that or you can simply add a new connection. So over here, while adding the new connection, you would have noticed it is asking for a private API key and a private auth token. So where we will find this? Read this instruction carefully that says to obtain the private API key and private auth token, we need to visit API and plugin section that is available in the Instamojo account. So I will take you to my Instamojo account. Here in API and plugin section, you will be able to find the API key along with the auth token. But as I already have an existing connection, so I will go with that and I will click on save. So now you can see it is connected over here. I need to enter the payment ID. So instead of entering the payment ID manually, I will map the payment ID. So from the response that we have received previously over here, you can see the payment ID given to us. I will map it over here. You can see it is mapped. And now I will click on save and send test request. So you can see over here we have got the payment ID. You can see the payment status along with the payment currency and the amount. And now you can see the customer name along with the phone number and the email that was mentioned while making the payment. So now that means we have successfully captured all the details in Pabli Connect. So now after getting these details, now what I want, I want to add these details of the customer and the transaction that was failed in my Google Sheet. Over here, I will be searching for Google Sheets. Here it is. Now I will select the action event as that is to add a new row. So over here, you can see I've already created a Google Sheet. So let me go to Pabli Connect and now I need to connect Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So I will click on connect. If you have an existing connection, you can go with that or you can simply add a new connection and you can directly sign in with Google. So now you can see the authorization is successful and it shows connected over here. So now over here, I need to select the spreadsheet and as my spreadsheet name is failed Instamojo payments, I will search over here that is failed Instamojo payments. And now you can see we need to select the sheet. So in my Google sheet, there is only one sheet. So it has already captured it. So now I need to mention the name, phone, email and payment ID. So instead of filling these fields manually, what I will do is I will use mapping. So what is mapping? Mapping basically means that you are inserting the data from the previous step. So over here in my previous step, I have received the response of name over here. So I will be mapping the name in the name field that is demo user. Then I will again map the phone number from the details captured. So I'm going to map it. 
and now moving on to the email part so i will map it again from the response here it is and going to the payment id part so we have received the payment id and i'm going to map it so why i have used mapping over here i've used mapping because i want whenever a new transaction is made in insta mojo and the response is captured here in public connect then automatically these fields should be replaced with the new transaction details automatically but if i will add these details manually then the fields will not be replaced automatically with the new transaction details and the workflow will get stuck so that is why we use mapping so it makes the work easier so now what i need to do is i will click on save and send test request to see whether this is being reflected in my google sheets or not so i will click on it you can see the response received over here you can see the table range that means this transaction detail is successfully added in google sheets so let me take you to my google sheets over here you can see the name as demo user the phone number the mail id and the payment id so that means the failed transaction is successfully added in my google sheet so this integration was successful so now whenever a failed transaction will be made in insta mojo then automatically the details of the customer along with the transaction details will be added in my google sheets not just these applications you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of pably connect so if you have any doubts regarding pably reach us at support@pably.com and if you have any queries you can can visit us at forum.pably.com if you have any pricing related query you can visit this link so if you like this video please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like share and subscribe our channel